finished with the battery pack and uh, I will uh, connect it to the controller and then I will uh, make a little test. I uh, lifted uh, the rear end so the wheels can spin without uh, hitting the ground, otherwise I will go through the roof and uh, through the door. So I'm uh, going to make the bar finished and then I'm going to make a little test, test run to see if things work. Well, I should have made this uh, cable turns out a bit longer, now it would be a problem. Now I have to put the cable between here and I can connect it, but I'm going to change it one later. And the second is this wire that's ready to the uh, security switch. Well, I turned on the switch and nothing happened. And uh, I did some measurements and then I found out that. Uh, Coil here. As so I read the instructions, it said this should be 96 volts, same as uh, the voltage of the battery pack. But when I measured the, the, the wires here, it was only 20 volts. So somewhere in this, uh, it's been some mistake made. But fortunately, I have the uh, 12 to 24 volts relay. So I'm going to change this uh, big one. 96 volt relay to uh, 24 and then I'm going to try it. Okay, finally I got uh, everything in place. I have some uh, issues with the uh, Celcon uh, controller, but I uh, got help from Siri, uh, the queue from France. But uh, this is some issues I have to have on programming and uh, I need an adapter so I can connect it to my laptop so I can make some programming. So I put the uh, motor controller from the snow and put it into this instead as soon because when I'm finished I can continue with all the other projects then I can work with the uh, Zedcon uh, controller in that little test bench I can get that one working because I think it's uh, the Zedcon controller that can generate more power but uh, now everything is connected and I'm going to try to start it Okay, made the test run.